even all the light fixtures in the building are historic. So mm -hmm. these were the original ones from 1913. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They're really fun to press. Well, they really are. <laughs> satisfying click. Yeah. You just are who you are, and you can get out and explore. And you know, it's not about labels. It's not you have to be strong. You have to be powerful. You have to be confident. You can be vulnerable and scared and terrified and and then maybe be strong the next minute, like it, everything can happen. It's, it's just life. Yeah. And um, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love being interviewed? How about a two <laughs> in my crew? <laughs> it's definitely not something that I'm used to. <laughs> I grew up in Northern Ireland, so a little country on top of Ireland. I'm a designer and that's what I do and that's who I am. I'd always been really arty as a child, like loving drawing, and I naturally I fell into fashion. Living in the city, living in Dublin, my life was like fashion, and it was all very much about how you looked and the work, and, and I got to a point where it's like, there has to be more. There's something missing, so I decided that I was gonna go back to the Alps and be a ski bum for a year. Very much inspired by the mountains and my time there. One of the ways I work a lot is um, I'll start by putting anything and everything that's floating around in my head on a wall. So it's pictures, it's post-its, it's notes, it's fabrics, it's colors, everything like a magpie. And they start to kind of come together. And it's very it's a very personal way of working. Like, I don't censor what I put on the wall, but it's usually stuff that people don't see at the end of the road when I'm presenting my work. The Olympics uniforms projects, that was, that was a hard project. There was a lot of pressure on it from timeline perspective from it's the Olympics. Just that doubt, it's like, is this on the right track? Am I doing anything? Am I completely, utterly useless? Like I'm looking at a ton of crap on the wall and is it ever gonna come together? It was definitely like nerve wracking for everyone to see if this was actually gonna work at the end of the day. To see all the work that we'd done and come together, it was, it was really, really special. It is important that everybody can be themselves and that there's a safe space for them to explore and, you know, have great ideas, have stupid ideas, have ideas that they don't even know are ideas. I've been fortunate to have mentors who've done that for me and allowed me the freedom to, to work as I need to, express myself as I need to. Those things like empathy and being vulnerable and emotional um, and nurturing, I, I think are actually assets for women. And the more real and honest you can be, the, the more creative you are, the more curious you are. Uh, I think it's, it's when you try and, you know, squash down all those things that make you who you are is when you become closed off. I think that women in maybe being taught those qualities or assigned those qualities have it a little bit easier than men sometimes. They don't have to, you know, they're sometimes more comfortable in not knowing the answers, but having that innate feeling that they will figure them out. I mean, yeah, I still question where I'm going or who I am. Um, every day. I have doubts and insecurities and panic moments. All of that, I don't think it goes away the older you get or the more experienced you get. It's, it's kind of there in the background, but also fuels, fuels you a little bit or fuels me a little bit. Yeah. I just want to be like, oh, there's no, like... Yeah, there's, there's no plan. <laughs> there's no set, there's no rules. There's no recipe. Vulnerability is exciting. 